Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMineBlocks. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine a brand new coin, which is called Alloy. So Alloy is a, a CryptoNote coin. It has very similar features and similarities to uh, Bytecoin and also Monero. Um, so let's take a look at the Bitcoin talk thread first of all. Not that one, it's this one here. So it is Alloy XAI. Oh. So not long released, it's been out approximately seven days. It is um, 10th of January and it was released, yeah, sorry, 2nd of January. So eight days old for this coin. It has a supply of 84 million, three minute block times, um, and that's the, the main sort of uh, features of it. It is a privacy coin, like I say, it has a lot of uh, features based around uh, Bytecoin and Monero, all the same sort of features, the same wallet uh, interface, all that sort of stuff. But really I wanted to share this uh, with you uh, because it is a new coin, it's easy to mine, you can mine it with a low power GPU and also your CPU, there's not much going on on the network at the moment, it's not really on any exchanges or anything like that. So. Um, you know, it's a bit of a risk when you mine these sort of new coins, but if you're getting early, you can mine quite a lot and hopefully that might pay off in the future. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. Let me just close down the browser now. So you can see I am CPU mining. This is the CPU miner. It's Claymore's uh, XMR CPU miner. And I also have the GPU miner, which is this window here. Um, I have a RX 570 and a RX 560 as well. Sorry, I had to think about that for a second. So the 570 is getting 600, just over 600 hashes, and the RX 560 is getting 340 hashes roughly. Both cards are overclocked, so that's kind of what you can expect. The CPU miner, I'm running on three threads because otherwise it interferes with the GPU miner, and I'm getting up to about 200 um, hashes. You can see it just slowed down there because I have also opened up VirtualBox. So let's get started with this coin. First of all, you're gonna need a wallet uh, and get your alloy address. So I'll put a link in the video description, but you can see everything that you need is available here. I downloaded it from the GitHub. So you can just go there and you'll see the recent releases. So the current version is 1.04 alpha, the Windows 64, that's the one that I'll be showing you that version there. And I'll come onto the miners um, afterwards. So setting up the wallet, I'm using VirtualBox. You guys can just install it on your regular um, desktop. Um, I just use this for a bit of extra security, so sorry about the resolution and stuff. So from the GitHub, you download the Alloy folder and extract it to your desktop, your downloads, or wherever you like. And inside it will look like this. So the program that you want to run is this Alloy D. Double click on that, and this is the uh, the node that will start up and get running. Um, depending on how long it is between you, the time this video is made and the time that you watch it, uh, will uh, reflect in the, the download time. So it should take you anywhere between sort of 10 minutes up to a maximum about of an hour, hopefully. If you're watching it recently, um, it will it'll literally take you just a few minutes to get the wallet synchronized. So we'll just leave that going for a few minutes. Okay, so that's been running for just a minute or two. And you can see it's got this green writing, this green text, synchronized okay, and it will get this uh, notice here that says that you are now synchronized with the network and now you can uh, interact with the node uh, using the simple wallet. So next up, we wanna use this simple wallet program. Make sure, so just to, to uh, reiterate, start off with the LID and then leave it open, and then you open up the simple wallet. And you've got two options, you can open an existing wallet or you can generate a new one or you can exit actually. So we want to generate a new wallet file, so you press G and enter. And it's going to ask you for a wallet name, so I'll just do alloy demo.bim. And it'll also ask us for a password, I'm just going to type password for simplicity and press enter. Okay, so it's gonna take a little while and then it's gonna give us our wallet address. I did notice that there is a bug with this. 
So you can see this part here is supposed to represent your wallet address, but you can see it's actually trimmed. It should start with a one. So what we just need to do is we can just save this wallet. I'm just gonna save it and we're gonna exit. Just gonna close that. And then we're gonna reopen it, like I said, because there is a bug here. So now this time we're gonna open up an existing wallet. So we're gonna press O and enter. And it's gonna ask for the wallet name. So it's alloy demo dot bin and a password. And there you can see the full wallet address. So you can see it starts 1QG. So that is your full wallet address there. So you can just right click, you could just copy and paste it. Actually the, um, the mouse interface might not work. So select it with your mouse and then use control and C to copy it. Um, and that's it, we're basically finished with the wallet. You can use that wallet from here onwards um, to receive transactions. Obviously you don't, um, you don't need the wallet open to receive transactions. You only need to wallet, you know, wallet to check your balance and stuff, et cetera. I'm just gonna exit out of there. Uh, just to show you what a kind of uh, working wallet and transactions looks like. So I'll open another wallet. So this is what it looks like when you've got uh, receiving incoming transactions. So it will scan through the whole blockchain and it will show you all the transactions that you've received. When it gets to the end, uh, you can type balance. And it'll give you a total balance. So 366. So that's just what it looks like. Okay, so we're done with the wallet and the simple wallet program. So the node and the wallet effectively. We can just close all that now. And that alloyed D, the daemon, wallet, node, whatever. Um, you can close that now, but to just to say where you are with the blockchain, just type exit and then press enter. You can close that now. So we're done with that, I'm done with all of that. Now I'll show you how to set up the miners. So I'll show you how to use the GPU miner and also the CPU miner, because you can still do a little bit of CPU mining that might be useful for you. So let's start with the GPU miner. So as always, I'll put the download links uh, in the description for you. We're gonna be using the Claymore's Cryptono AMD miner. There is also a miner for uh, Nvidia graphics cards, but I won't be demonstrating. The, the setup will be very similar, um, but I won't be demonstrating it. We'll just be doing it for AMD cards. That's just what I have in this system. So I'll also include, if you download using my links, I'll include a star.batch uh, file um, and it'll break it down for you. So with the batch file, we want to edit it. And I'll explain what each part does. So you've got the first part, which is the call to the miner program. Then we have X pool, which is the pool that we're gonna be mining on. We're gonna be mining on the alloy uh, popular pool. And I'll just show you what that looks like here. Um, I've got the pool already open. So it's really simple to mine with this pool. Uh, you just need your alloy wallet address and then you can use that to connect to the pool. So you don't need any um, worker login configuration or anything like that. And just going back to the miners, so I can't quite see it, just be on my camera. So yeah, so we have the pool address, which is this part here. Then you have your worker username address, which is just your alloy address. With this one, it's also important to note, don't put a nickname, like a lot of wallets will have a, a worker nickname. If you use something like that, um, you'll get errors. So don't use that, just have your raw wallet address. And then you've got your wallet password. Um, don't actually put your wallet password in there, just put in a pool password so it will, basically it will always be X. Uh, sorry, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit, but just trying to explain it for you kind of as I go, as I'm, as I'm thinking about doing these things. And then the next part is all pools one. Leave that as one. It will just help the miner program connect to whatever pools it wants to when it wants to mine the dev fee. Um, otherwise, you'll get errors. So have that set to all pools one. So we've got the miner program. You've got your pool. You've got the alloy 
wallet address, password, just leave X and all pools one. Then you want to file and go to save as, give it a name. So I've got it at start popular ball dot bat. And then you want to save it as all files to make sure it saves as a batch file and not as a text file. And you save that. We've already got it, so we can just save it. Um, like I say, if you download using my links, I'll put this um, as an example file for you to use it. You can also start the miner using configuration files, but I'm not going to go into that um, in this video. Um, but that's something that, that you guys could do. So that will be the GPU miner. I'll just start that up and get that running. You can see how it starts up. And in the meantime, we'll move on to the CPU miner which is very similar setup. So we've got Claymore's Crypto Note CPU Miner, it's version 3.9. And it's really very, very similar. So we've got this start batch file. I'll open and we shall edit that. So same sort of thing, Miner program, pool address, you've got dash T, and then you've got, this is your CPU threads. And typically I would use one less core than what your CPU has. So I've got a um, i5 processor, has four cores, um, or eight with hyper-threading. So I'm just using three of those cores. And again, username is our wallet address, and password is just a bank blank password X. Um, I've also got mPort set to disabled um, because there was an error um, on the remote management on that. So that's the CPU mine in there. And we can just start that up as well. So these uh, miners are both gonna to connect to the pool. So in total, roughly about one um, kilo hash of mining um, hash rate, <laughs> speed, if you like. And um, I'll just show you how that looks on the pool. So it's ally.popularpool.com. You can just enter your wallet address here, and then you go to look up it shows you your hash rate, and it also shows you your payments. On the left-hand side, you can see the hash rate that will build up. It'll probably take about 10 minutes to settle. Um, your pending balance, total paid balance, and then below you can see these uh, transactions, payouts. So at first I did mine kind of um, a little bit hard, and then I just kind of mined um, just with the CPU and GPUs, just in a single uh, rig. You can also enter a calculation. So um, at the moment, probably about one kilo hash in total. So you should be earning roughly around about 100 alloy per day. So that's quite good. So just with a single CPU, um, I don't know if you can do fractions. Um, you can. So yeah, with um, the CPU that I have in this, 200 hashes, you're getting around 20 coins per day. So at the moment, the value is not determined. Um, you can trade it privately, but as far as I'm aware, the, this coin is not on any exchanges or anything like that. So a bit of a gamble with this coin, I was, but it is easy to mine. So maybe mine just a little bit, maybe just for a few days, pick up some coins, put them on the side, and then when they comes onto an exchange, maybe you can sell them and make a little bit of um, profit from them. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching and learning how to mine Alloy, which is a new crypto note coin. If you have any questions or comments, please put those in the comments area below and I'll be sure to respond to you guys. If you did like this video, please give it a like. If you like this type of content, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already. And be also sure to follow me on my other social media, so Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I put out different types of content on there, all based around you know crypto mining, etc. Uh, so till the next one, guys, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.